welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make tons of healthy lifestyle videos and I would love to have you join our little community here. So welcome. All right, guys, we're doing a little recipe video off the cuff here tonight because I'm in jammies. Still have makeup on from earlier today. I need to take that off, but I figured I'd film one last video just while I have my makeup on because I had this fabulous recipe come across my feed from Miss Jamie Knoll. And if you have not followed Jamie already, what are you doing with your life? Jamie is actually one of my coach partners and I am so beyond honored that I get to work with her on my team. But I'm telling you, this girl has some bomb recipes on her Optavia plan. She's currently maintaining, absolutely rocking her health journey and I'm so, so proud of her. And this this recipe of hers came across my feed and I was like, I gotta try that. So I'm not doing the exact recipe the way she did it. I don't think I am, but I'm doing kind of my own little version of it. And basically what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be creating our very own Optavia approved movie night snack mix or trail mix, whatever you wanna call it. But I was like, this is such a genius idea. There's so many different ways that you could do it. And I thought it'd be kind of fun for us to make it tonight because Zach and I are on a movie run right now. I don't know about you guys, but Zach and I get really into movies movie series and we've been looking for another good series for a while now because we just finished up the whole Lord of the Rings the whole um what is it called honey the Hobbit series we just finished all of those trilogies and we were like oh my god what are we gonna watch next like nothing can beat that we were thinking going Game of Thrones again but we were like eh, I don't know we found our next movie series and it is currently Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise now I will say right before that we did go down the Top Gun path now we are on Mission Impossible and we are watching Mission Impossible number three three tonight. I am super, super pumped. Honestly, those movies are really good. Like I was expecting to not like them because they're so much older, but honestly, they're really, really good. So we're on number three tonight and I figured it'd be kind of fun for me to try out this movie night snack mix for our movie night tonight. So I'm going to make them a little bit early. We still need to make our lean and green for tonight, but we're going to have these a little bit later. It's actually like golden hour right now. I don't know if you guys can see like the sun kind of peeking right there, but we're going to be making these snacks ahead of time so that we can have them as our last fueling for tonight, plus our optional snack. So I want to make them with you guys today and also just know that like I've actually never made this recipe before so we're gonna be doing it together but it seems pretty simple and if you guys want to see the full recipe go check out Jamie on Instagram I will leave her handle right here so you can go check her out like I said I'm telling you I personally have found some really bomb recipes with this girl and um, she blows me away every single day so go check her out her handle is gonna be right here and we're gonna make some Optavia approved movie night snack mix today now really quick for everybody who's new here and has no idea what we're talking about hi Hello, my name is Ashley. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Just so you know, I'm in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, originally going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan, since transitioned more activity into my day, but all of the fueling recipes and lean and greens and content that you're gonna find on this channel can be applied to any Optavia plan you're currently following or looking into. If you have no idea what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basics of the introductory 5-in-1 plan is you're gonna be consuming five five fuelings a day that come to you in your monthly Optavia box and then one lean and green meal a day that you prepare from home. All of your fuelings and lean and greens are spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase. So welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> Okay, so for this fueling hack recipe today, this whole fueling is going to count as one fueling and one optional snack for your day. So just so you guys know, on your five and one plan, you are allotted one optional snack for the day and that can be found on the list of optional snacks. I'll leave that list linked in the description down below in case you haven't seen it. Or Optavia does sell optional snacks on the website. And honestly, you guys, these things are absolutely delicious. If you guys haven't tried them yet, they honestly are like kind of like a little treat if you guys wanna have a little extra something during your day especially if you're working out extra hard and you want to have something extra there that can definitely be added in there but these are going to count as one optional snack on the site there's popcorn there's puffed snacks there's like tons of different options these are so much fun and we love having them as like little extras in our pantry when we need them so we are going to be creating our Optavia movie night snack mix comprised of one of our Optavia olive oil and sea salt popcorn optional snacks these are so so good and believe it or not have more flavor than you think plus we are also going 
going to be using our Optavia Sharp Cheddar and Sour Cream Popcorn Snacks. Again, honestly, you're not gonna taste any difference of this versus any of the cheddar popcorns that you've had. Like, these are so, so good. We're gonna be using both of these popcorns tonight. Then we're gonna also be using one of the Honey Mustard and Onion Sticks. Excited to have these back in my life. I had them in the beginning of my journey and then they kind of just faded off, but I bought them again because I wanted to be able to make this snack mix tonight. So we're gonna be using one of our Honey Mustard Sticks. And then just to have a little hint of sweetness, I mean, it wouldn't be a snack mix, trail mix, if it didn't have like a little bit of chocolate in it, right? So that's why we're gonna be adding one of our Optavia Drizzled Chocolate Fudge Crisp Bars. Now these, honestly, if you just wanna try and true chocolate bar, these are the ones to go with, but you'll see how we do all of this in conjunction with one another. So basically, if you're doing the math here, we're gonna be creating two servings of our movie night snack mix tonight so that Zach can have one and I can have one. But each of our individual bags is gonna count as one one snack and one fueling. I'm just gonna use some sandwich bags to measure them out. I'm gonna be using my digital kitchen scale just to make sure I have the right measurements, but we're gonna make sure we've got everything correct so that we can be creating two servings of our snack mix tonight. You can either have one for today and one for tomorrow or share them with your partner if they're currently on plan with you, but this is going to be a game changer if it works out the way that I think it's going to. So let's go ahead and get started and see how it turns out. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna start out by using my digital kitchen scale, place a bowl on top, so that the weight does not count and then turn it on. And then we're gonna go ahead and measure in grams today. So first things first, let's find out how much the full pack of our snack weighs. We're gonna start off with the olive oil and sea salt popcorn. All right, looks like we've got about 12 grams. So we're gonna do six grams of popcorn in each of our snack mixes. Take this off, turn it off, plop one of our bags right on top of the scale, turn it on, and we're gonna weigh out six grams. Perfect. We've got our six grams of our olive oil popcorn there. Open up my second bag and I'm gonna plop the rest in here. All right, we've got our two bags going. Now let's add in our sharp cheddar popcorn. Turn it off, add our bowl, turn it on. Add in our sharp cheddar and sour cream popcorn snack. Looks like this one, we've got about 14 grams. So we're gonna add seven grams each into our snack mixes. Take it off, put our bag on top. Turn it on, let's add seven grams. Perfect. We've got our cheddar popcorn in there. Now let's add the other half to our second bag. All right, it's coming together guys. We got popcorn layers galore. Now let's add some honey mustard sticks. Zeroed out my scale one more time and now I'm gonna add in my honey mustard and onion sticks fueling. All right, so this one comes to about 34 grams. That means we're gonna need, oh, 35, 34 grams. That means we're gonna need 15, 16, 17 grams in each one of our snack mixes. Let's measure it out. Plop our bag right on top, 17 grams. All right, 17 right on top. And let's add the second half to our second bag. Perfect. It's coming together, friends. Now we just need to add a hint of our sweetness on top and we'll be done. We're done with the scale for now. I'm gonna whip out a little cutting board and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my drizzled chocolate fudge crisp into two. Look at that chocolate. Flip it around. I'm gonna cut this right down the center. I think this is center. Close enough. Now for my chocolate bar, I'm gonna set one to the side and for each half, I'm just gonna cut it once horizontally and a couple vertically just so I can get a few little bites out of each side of the bar. And those bites will go into our snack mix, just like this. There we go. So now we've got our little chocolate bites to go right over the top of our snack mix so we can add a little touch of sweetness. And honestly, you guys, this is a great trick. If you guys ever wanna just add your bar on top of like one of the Chobani Zero Sugar yogurts or Greek yogurt, whatever you guys want, this is basically like granola on top of your yogurt. If you haven't tried it, it's delicious. But for today, we're gonna add it right on top of our snack mix. Now let's cut up the other side. All right, and add our bites right over the top. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. We've got our snack mixes ready to go for Mission Impossible tonight. All we gotta do is give them a good shake, zip them up just so they don't all come out, <laughs> and mix it up.
There we have it. Does that not look so fun? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys, they turned out so good. Like, I am so excited about these. Is anybody else like, this looks so fun. I'm just saying, this is something I am super down to get cozy with, with a good movie. After dinner, when you're feeling a little bit of the munchies, you want something salty and sweet, bam, this is a way to go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try these out. I'm telling you guys, go follow Jamie. I definitely got this idea from her, and this is definitely the first time I've ever even made this, but I'm excited to try it out tonight, and we're gonna have these to enjoy during Mission Impossible 3. By the way, they're on Netflix right now. If you want a good binge, that's what we're binging. Let us know down in the comments what your current Netflix binge is, because that's what we're on. But I'm excited to have these as a little sweet and salty treat tonight after dinner. And like I said, this whole concoction is just gonna count as one fueling and one optional snack for your day and I am sure they will not disappoint. If you guys like this video please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel. Tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. New videos coming to you guys every single week and I cannot wait to continue this healthy journey with you. Thank you all so so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!